Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Aquarium Monsters. So, as we have seen the previous videos of convert cichlids care and feeding, today we will talk about convert cichlids breeding. First, we will talk about sexing convert cichlids. Just like the entire breeding process, sexing a convert cichlids couldn't be any easier. The males are almost always larger by a couple of inch and the females will generally develop a yellowy red color coloring to their underbelly once they reach sexual maturity. So let's talk about the breeding process. These fish are incredibly easy to breed and they breed very, breed very often. So if you are ready to start the breeding them, expect a batch of at least 20 to 30 little convicts within a space of few weeks. Convict cichlids can spawn from very young age and they do not require a suitable breeding mate. Any male convict will breed any with any female convict. No funny dancing, no chasing around the tank. Just add a male and female to a big enough tank with the correct layout and you will be proud carer of convict cichlid fry in no time. In the wild, the convict cichlids will lay their eggs on rocky overhangs and in the caves. So it's important that you try to replicate these as much as possible in a tank. Flat stones placed on the top of each other are probably the best way to go about this. But clay pots and even PVC pipe will get the job done. It doesn't matter where you place this rock overhangs because the cichlids will move everything around to their liking anyway. Plants will be demolished and substrate will be pushed aside. Although they are not picky over their mating partner, they are definitely fuzzy over where the magic happens. If you leave a male and female together for enough time and you feed, feed them plenty of food, you can expect to see a batch of eggs on the upper part of a cave within a few weeks. While the eggs are mature, maturing and preparing to hatch, the female convict will guard them constantly and the male will swim around, attacking any other fish which dare to come near. Convict chiclets are incredibly good parents and they will literally fight for their lives in order to protect their eggs and their fry. Once hatched, the convicts will help their fry find food. They will create safe burrows for them and will fight with any species of fish if they feel threatened. It's rare to lose a live convict chiclet fire. Once the eggs are hatched, usually around 3-5 to five days, you can begin feeding them some small brine shrimps or crushed up fry food. When the fry are young, it's important that you feed them frequently, at least 3 times a day will be enough. My favorite fry food for convict cichlids and most other freshwater fish is Ocean Nutrition Instant Baby Brine. It's not the cheapest fry food on the market but it's definitely one of the best. You need to give your fry the best possible start if you want them to grow into healthy and vibrantly colored adults. So that's all folks. This was the breeding process of the convict cichlids. Hope you like the video. Do subscribe my channel, like, comment and share and don't forget us to follow on Instagram and Facebook. The next video will be coming soon.